that are here is that we're often looking forward to the next project. So I'm not really going to talk about anything that's in this book today. I'd rather show you some things that I'd like to put into the next book. So um, we're not going to talk about this one right now. Uh, we recently put a carrot dish on the menu, and um, this dish is, is about, it, it's sort of all the senses. It smells great, it looks great, I think it tastes great, uh, it's cold, it's crunchy, it's got texture. It, the, the visual on this dish is, is pretty impressive, but the fact that the carrots um, you know, come from just 50 or 60 miles away from here really makes the dish. And so we found that going to the farmer's markets and things like that has become very important for us and trying to cook food and trying to work with food and ingredients in a more responsible way. So um, we've got some beautiful carrots here. And what we've done is actually just shave them very fine on what we call a mandolin. So that's that machine that's very flat with the blade that when you run your fingers on it, you're afraid you're gonna slice your fingers off. We didn't lose any fingers in the carrots, so these are uh, naturally colored red and purple and green. There's no uh, extra finger additives to that, you know. So no fingers were lost in the slicing of these carrots. We um, really just let them sit and roll them up into these little rings and they're raw. So. We uh, really like when we can take vegetables that are so good that you really don't want to manipulate them too much. So then you have to put ingredients with the carrots that aren't going to take away from the integrity of the carrot themselves. So we put a few things together. One is uh, a salsa verde. And peas and carrots has been this combination that everybody's had before. And it's like, oh great, another peas and carrots dish. And we don't really call it peas and carrots, but we found that this mojo verde or this salsa verde or this green sauce when made with pea greens is really, really nice. Usually it's made with parsley or cilantro or we've got things called chimichurri that are very similar to this. So what we've got in this bottle is just the greens of peas blended with olive oil, some sherry vinegar, some salt, some garlic, very simple, very basic. And that's the dressing for our carrots. So when we put this dish together, we start with the carrots. And this dish is actually on the menu in the restaurant now at, at Inc. Um, if Brian sees this demo, online or something, then I'm sure he'll copy the dish and put it on his restaurant menu at Volt. But we're not going to tell him about it. You can read about it in the next book.